And we are heading up into a very special place where I get to have a wonderful Christmas cocktail. Oh my god, this place, you guys, look! Hi everyone, I am back. It's Sinead with Free Tours by Foot London and I am standing in front of Claus Maggiore, one of the fine dining restaurants in Covent Garden. Ladies and gents, I am about to show you every inch of festive fun and amazing Christmas spectacular here in Covent Garden. Stay tuned, I'm gonna take you to every corner and some secret location places that you can also prior book inside. Um, this one will take about an hour, but we're gonna cover every bit, including the largest hand-picked tree in London, standing at a staggering 55 feet. Stay tuned, an amazing Christmas spectacular coming your way. So I wanted to start just here on Floral Street, folks, and we're gonna take a little walk through Floral Court. So I wanna bring you to all the bits of Christmas decoration in the area, and they really have gone out this year. So many different market stalls, Amazing mulled wine, mulled gins, beautiful festive treats, gingerbread, um, great food, an outdoor food area. But just through this area, firstly, to get us in the mood, I wanted to take you to this gorgeous little floral court. Now, in floral court, you have two restaurants, and I hope I pronounce these properly, La Gocia and the Peterson. And that brings us right out on to King Street. So let's have a little look. Look how beautiful it is here. So this is Floral Court, and the restaurants are on either side. Now, most of them are opening up today at about seven, so this is a great time for me to come. I've just come at twilight. So later on, I'm gonna bring you into one of these. A uh, little surprise at the very end. I'm looking forward to this one. It's actually on Henrietta Street, and I'll explain more about it later on on the tour, but you're gonna be impressed, trust me. Now, there might even be a little bit of gin, gin sampling along the way. Now, here is Close Maggiore. Now, it's a fine dining restaurant here in Covent Garden. It's essential to book beforehand. I am hoping I'll be able to get inside and have a little look around, but we'll see how it goes later on. But is Santa sleigh isn't it delightful I mean the decorations are immense look how beautiful inside so this is Maxwell's and they serve great burgers pies and shakes so it really is coming together already Christmas in London now we're only at the crux of it now they're only at the very very beginning but we have so much to see but let me take you down here to the beautiful St. Paul's Church. Now this was built by who some would call the first architect in London and his name was Inigo Jones and this beautiful church and courtyard ladies and gents is famously known as the Actors Church. Look at this, isn't this beautiful? Now, you know me, I'm a bit of a sucker, as it were, for the benches here. They're all dedicated to people who have lost their lives. And there's some wonderful stories along the way. There is one dedication here that I find quite fascinating. I actually really enjoy it. And it is this little dedication here. And it said fell asleep actor Bill Frazier 1908 to 1987 now let's just have a quick look at that courtyard again this is where actually um, Gwen Stefani got married for the first time to her then husband who was a chap and uh, the front man from Bush Gavin Rosdale they had two weddings, one in Los Angeles and one in here. But it's a beautiful church inside. And I love this on the door. I've got to show you this. See, you know what? Let's just head in for a minute. I'm going to rather be told you can't film 
and ask for permission. So I've done it before, but they have new residents here. So they ensure that you please close the door behind you. The kittens are still not old enough to be let outside and they may slip out of the door if left open. So in here, they're dedicated to many different actresses. Vivian Lee is there. It's quite a few, so it's known as the Actors' Church. Stunning. So how can we do a Christmas spectacular tour without heading into St. Paul's Covent Garden? Right, so I'll take you. There she is, the icing on the cake. So this is the largest hand-picked tree in the country. And in London, sorry. At a staggering 55 feet, this is the centerpiece of the Christmas display this year at Covent Garden. And this was hand-picked from the same farm where the royal family have their Christmas trees bought and picked. Oh, here we go. We'll have to show you this guy because he's getting a bit excited. <laughs> he's quite fun, actually. Let's have a look at him. I haven't seen a flamethrower or a fire thrower in years, actually. This particular one took 60 hours. No, 60 members of staff and over 300 hours to decorate you guys. And they used a cherry picker to get to the upper branches. Now, in keeping with the environmentally friendly principles of Covent Garden, the tree itself, every tree from Wood Farm, where the royal family also get their Christmas trees, they are now planting another tree, three trees for every one they cut down. And this one will be recycled for wood chips when it's eventually taken down, when the festive season is over. But let me just take you through here. I want to take you into the Apple Market. Look at these baubles here in Apple Market. Now, I know it's still early November, but I mean, it is incredible here today. Look at that, the Maison de Fleurs archway as you're walking in. I'm getting all this Christmas feels right now, folks. And this is a little antiques market that's taking place at the moment. We will be heading around the back later on. There is another Christmas market just opening up today. And that was designed by a famous film Hollywood film set designer. So uh, the mistletoe is gorgeous, you guys. I'm just going to grab the first man I see in a minute now. Give him a big kiss. What do you reckon? That could be quite controversial. Now let's head through here because there's also in here a new pop-up shop for gin tasting. So here it is, a gin shop, and it's fabulously decorated where you can actually come in and sample some of their gins. Now obviously I'm not on a party tonight. I'm on my own. Maureen is not with me, but I will be bringing some special guests along to do the other Christmas markets in London. But the chaps very kindly told me I can come in here and have a look. Now, any of the gin you see here is online and you can be bought online, but there's some beautiful samples, you guys. Oh my God, look at this one. Honey and vanilla. Sounds epic. So the boys here are great. They've had given me permission just to film inside. Say hi, guys. So everyone's saying hello there. Very handsome gentlemen. So just show you some of their fabulous gins on display. And they have a website. Now, we'll put a link in the description. And some gorgeous gin hampers. Lovely Christmas gifts. It's making a huge comeback. Well, it never really went away, to be honest. But people are beginning to sample a lot more flavored gins. Now, boys, you said you're going to give me a gin sample. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Would you mind? Which one will we have? Well, let's have a look and see. What flavours do we have, you guys? We've got, we've got four gins here. Okay. We've got a London Dry. Fantastic. In London Dry, we use a South American Tonka bean. Oh, lovely. Like oh, I'd love some, yeah. Yeah, I'd love to try that. Oh, you guys, that smells delicious. Mm. What hints are in that? So, yeah, you've got it's like cinnamon. Yeah, so cinnamon, marzipan, bit of vanilla. Ooh, might, that smells lovely. You might find um, tonka beans in like Joe Malone candles. Oh, Joe Malone candles, that's why I knew it was familiar. I had them, yeah, yeah. the Joe Malone candles are gorgeous. So which one am I sampling today? So you have a strawberry, strawberry and black pepper. And black pepper. Yeah, exactly what it says in the tin. Exactly. We've got, we got Old Tom. Um, old Tom. Norfolk honey. Um, okay. Fresh mango. Okay. A little bit sweeter. Um, and then the coastal the botanicals have been foraged from the Norfolk coast. Okay. So it's a little bit salty, citrusy and herbaceous. Ooh, so which one would you food? recommend? Uh, my personal favourite is the Old Tom. But it depends on your preference. Do you know what? I'm going to actually try because it's something I've never tried before. It's strawberry and black pepper. Sure. That completely appeals to me. Do you mind? Oh my God, this is great, you guys. A little gin sample here for your charge. So make sure you pop in here in Covent Garden when you can. Sorry, I'm just trying to adjust my microphone there. Okay, one sec. There we go. Ooh, this looks delish, you guys. I'll have a little sample of this. That is the smoothest gin I have ever tasted. Mm -hmm. And I love good gin, but that is delicious. Yeah. So where can I get that? If I'm buying that, I buy it here in the shop or I can yeah. get it online? Buy it online, buy it here in the shop in Covent Garden. We've got five gin shops and tasting rooms across the UK. Um, we've got one in Canary Wharf. Okay. Um, one in Westfield, White City, and two in Norwich. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is the one that you could pop to. Is this just a pop-up, boys, or is it going to be here for a while? Um, we're here for six months. Oh my God, excellent. So any of you guys that are coming over, you can check it out in here and they're happy to give you samples before you try, before you buy, essentially. Well, boys, that was absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much. You. Have Thank a lovely day much. and Merry Christmas. Merry I know it's Christmas. a bit premature, but alas, <laughs> have a good day. Bye guys. Oh, you guys, that was absolutely gorgeous. I have never experienced strawberry and black pepper gin, but I absolutely will be buying that as a Christmas gift to myself, I think. Now, I was going to make my way down here, but you see, I am taking you back down here later on. There is an amazing Christmas market that's opening up at the back here, but it's not open up for a couple of hours. But we will come back. So in the meantime, I think we'll head around the other side to show you some of the market stalls here. Now, of course, there's a great atmosphere in Covent Garden tonight. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look how pretty. So amazing thanks to you all through PayPal and buy me a coffee and that thanks button to Laurie, Maria, Mike, Sam. There was, I'm trying to think of this good few, oh Pamela, I heard from you as well today. Your generosity continuously, continuously amazes me. And I am so grateful because all of these amazing tips that we're receiving enable us to keep continuing and doing more of these videos for you. Um, we are super excited though to bring Christmas to you. Now this is in celebration of the Frozen Spectacular and the new show. Look at the little one, isn't she gorgeous? She's all lit up. The new show that is taking place in the Royal Jury Lane Theatre. So this, I was brought here, this is for Annabella, it's also for two other very special girls all the way in Germany and that's for Isabella and Emma who are massive Frozen fans. So this is for you ladies, I hope that you love these Frozen Christmas trees. So the kiddies are loving this, you guys. So they brought our very own Arundel to Covent Garden. And something very special at the moment happens on the hour, every hour here. So I'm just waiting on the little countdown, but it is beautiful, isn't it? So you got so many people taking their selfies and videos. Now, yesterday, I will put up a picture. They did yeah, sc ice sculptures of all the famous characters from Frozen as well that brought the crowds of the world here. So this is your little Frozen exhibition of Covent Garden. 
What's about to happen? Keep an eye, you guys. The little one is in, she's in. Gonna have to stand under. Here it comes, it's snowing, you guys. How amazing. Literally snowing down on top of me. And this is gonna be happening on the hour, every hour, you guys. From midday until 7 p.m. in Covent Garden. How pretty. People are loving it. All recyclable, all sustainable snow. Oh, wow, look how pretty we're actually in Arundel. the little one down here everybody's excited <laughs> oh my god it's going in my nose you guys it's so pretty though isn't it These people are having the best time ever. Look at this, look at everyone's covered. So get the kids down here, you guys. They would love it. It's so pretty, really lovely. It's the perfect Instagram shot as well. And wham. But right now, what I want to do is show you what the newest feature is. And it's just opened up tonight. And this one is beautiful, you guys. This is the Christmas Village and the luxury Christmas tree forest featuring eight luxury baubled themed dining domes, luxury dining here. And this is in conjunction with Rams Ramsbury Single Estate Gin. So these are the, ra the forest, Ramsbury Forest Luxury Dining Domes, you guys. Now here we have this lovely Christmas village who actually designed this was a lady called Sonia Klaus. Now she's an award-winning film set decorator She's worked on movies like X-Men and Prometheus, um, Gladiator, Taboo with the gorgeous Tom Hardy, uh, Mr. <laughs> Selvridge, and I guess most of her inspiration came from the movie A Christmas Carol that she filmed. Now, the amazing thing about this is that a, Christm a Christmas festive themed domes, and you can rent these, and you can get domes for six and domes for eight people in the middle of this beautiful forest, the Ramsey Gate, as they're calling it, forest. Now, inside these pods, a six-person dome would cost you 180 pounds. So it's about 30 pounds per person. And in that, you will get a traditional Christmas dinner, beautiful uh, rotisserie chicken, garlic and herb some yeah. lovely fresh vegetables pigs in blankets and a beautiful selection of ramsey uh ramsey side estate gin single estate gin cocktails but look at this for instagram heaven so this is the christmas village side and she did an amazing job look how beautiful this is this just opened up tonight, you guys. The Rans the Ransbury Forest Domes in Covent Garden. So you can just Google them, and that will be come up for you. I want to see if I can get inside and around the market there. These guys are so loud; they're screaming and shouting. I mean. Oh wow, it really feels special and magical in here. So those pods are based on a first come first serve basis. So get in on time you guys, because they expect 
it will sell out but look at the Christmas bar there now I've come tonight where it's just literally open but all of these will be available to you I'm assuming we're allowed to walk in around here are we I'm going in anyway you guys if they tell me to leave I'll leave so we got some fried chicken here and gorgeous seafood the Christmas bar serving up some amazing Christmas cocktails so it looks like they're still trying to get it up and running oh it's not actually allowed right okay I'm sorry and that's where we're going next because I want to take you on a very special treat with me we are heading to what is called the Henrietta and a very special Christmas experience stay tuned for this one now this has to be pre-booked uh, it's quite easy to get there just on the end of Henrietta Street here so if you look here beside us again that's where the gentleman was performing and we have the giant Christmas tree so I'm on the other side of the piazza oh my god I love the way the buildings are lit up right now we're gonna head in to the Henrietta special child Alan thank you to you all for your subscriptions and subscribers don't forget ladies and gents if you have any friends that you think will enjoy our tours of London please like and subscribe I just want to give you a little bit of advice Please make sure that when you do come, the better tube station to use for Covent Garden is always Leicester Square. The short journey between Leicester Square and Covent Garden is literally only about a three to four minute walk. And there is elevators in Covent Garden, but it gets super busy there. There is an option to take 73 steps up to the top, but for your own comfort, it's usually easier to come to Leicester Square, but this, is where I'm heading into right now, ladies and gents. So stay tuned for what I am super looking forward to, the upstairs here of Da Henrietta. So let's head in. I wanna show you this stunning Italian restaurant that's right in the middle of Covent Garden. I love bringing you guys with me to these places, by the way. But an amazing Italian menu lovely staff but I'm in for a very special treat because hidden away up on top is this stunning magical Christmas winter wonderland wait till you see this you guys now this is the main entrance as we're heading up and we are heading up into a very special place where I get to have a wonderful Christmas cocktail. Oh my god, this place, you guys, look! Snow on the ground. Oh, this is my table. My own little table here. I'll give you a good visual and see how it works. Let me take a seat so you can see this stunning little hidden away Christmas winter wonderland experience. Isn't this divine? And we've got the elves behind the bar so what I decided on you guys is the Jingle Balls Nog and that is Segneta VS um, Cognac and it is 13 pounds so it's a bit of a treat cream sherry almond milk cream egg vanilla nutmeg contains dairy egg and nuts so they are quite conscious of their menu and what's on it so let's see how this pans out you guys it should be delicious then i'm excited i hope you guys are now this is called da henrietta it's on henrietta street in Covent garden 
So that's D A Henrietta, Da Henrietta. And you can reserve online. I found a time slot, no problem. But bear in mind, you guys, it is Monday night. So Monday night is quite much quieter and I chose to come down when it wasn't so busy but look at these decorations and you even have like black and white Christmas movies is that a, it, it's a wonderful life on in the background gives you this gorgeous atmosphere in here and these are the elves are coming to service thank you honey this looks like this is my cocktail wow thank you honey that's delicious it looks great so they serve it in this gorgeous little mug so very Christmassy you guys so it looks like this chap is my date for the evening cheers my lovelies let's have a taste Oh my God, you guys, that is lush. Cheers. Merry Christmas. So make sure to book here, you guys. I'm not gonna talk too much because there's other people around me. Here's my new boyfriend in the back. So that was thoroughly enjoyable, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to check out our Christmas playlist coming up, our Covent Garden video, ladies and gents. Merry Christmas from here in the beautiful Da Henrietta Christmas Winter Wonderland.